Hi, I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Addict. I'm here with Todd Pleiser. He's the product manager here at the DeWalt Experience Media Event. Todd, you have a little uh, electrical contractor tools here. Tell us a little bit about them. So what we have here is three tools that cater specifically to the commercial electrician. We have three different tools. One is a 12-ton U-type die crimping tool. The second is a six-ton dialess crimping tool. And the third is a cable cutting tool. Um, what are some of the applications, Todd, of these tools? What, what's the contractor going to use them for? So most often, these tools are used on br when bringing power into a commercial building. So what a contractor will be doing is they'll be crimping a connector onto large electrical cable. Um, that's going to bring power from the street into a building. And so they'll insert the connector onto a cable and then want to crimp around to form a, a positive connection for this connector onto the cable. And so they can utilize either two of these tools to do that. Um, this is our 12-ton U-type die crimping tool. Our tool will accept any manufacturer's U-type dies. So these are the different dies that go into the head of the tool. There's a different size die for every size of connector. There's 16 different sizes. This tool will crimp anywhere from number eight all the way through 750 MCM copper or 1000 MCM aluminum. The benefit again, this tool will accept any manufacturer's U-type dies. The head of the tool pivots 270 degrees, so that allows the contractor to get into a tight spot. We've also uh, included what we call a ball detent into the tool, and that's what holds the die in place. One of the largest frustrations is a lot of the other manufacturers have a push button release, and that releases the die to be able to pull it in and out. That often fails to get stuck and jammed. So we did the sealed ball detent, which alleviates that push button. You'll also see that the head of our tool has this uh, goldish metallic color. So majority of manufacturers just use a black oxide coating that can scratch off or flake off and rust or corrode in time. We use what's called electroless nickel. It's the same thing that the military uses on their weapons to prevent them from corrosion. So a very high caliber prevent, uh, corrosion protection. We also have this onboard diagnostics on the tool, which tells you the user three different things. One is the battery state of charge. If it's green, there's more than enough power. If it's yellow, it means the battery's running low and you might want to swap the pack out or put a, um, take another pack with you if you're going to a remote location. The second light is a cycle complete. So if the tool goes through and hits 12 tons of pressure accurately, this light will blink green saying, hey, you've done a good crimp. If it doesn't reach 12 tons of force, it'll blink red and say, hey, you need to go back and reinspect that crimp. It wasn't done properly. Third light is a service light. All these tools, regardless of the manufacturer, have to be recalibrated after a certain number of cycles. Our tool will warn you when that's going to happen. A lot of other tools don't do that. You can be on the job site and have that happen and now you're dead in the water. Absolutely. Now you can be proactive with your, your service versus having to be reactive and having a dead right. tool on the job site. Right. We have an ultra bright LED light here on the foot of the tool. That's going to illuminate. A lot of times these guys are bringing power into a building so they're working in tight spots. Um, this is going to illuminate that work area for them. We also have the forward reverse trigger. A lot of other manufacturers have the release somewhere else on the tool. So I'm going to align the connector and I want to go and I need to release it to realign it. I have to let go of the material with other tools and press that release somewhere else on the tool. This is a one-handed tool. So I'm, I can operate the tool with one hand. That's handy. Last but not least, our battery system. This tool works with any 20 volt max battery pack. So whether it's the thin, the thin packs or the thick packs, this will work with any 20 volt max battery pack. Next we have the Dialus tool. It has all those same features that we talked about. The head pivots 360 degrees. Again, this will crimp anywhere from number eight all the way up to number to 750 MCM copper or 1000 MCM aluminum cable. We also have our cable cutting tool. Again, this is used for cutting this large diameter cable. This will cut and has a capacity anywhere up to 750 MCM copper or 1000 MCM aluminum cable has a bright LED light to illuminate, again, that working area. This is a guillotine style cutter. The benefit of a guillotine style cutter is it's gonna keep the shape of your cable when you're cutting it and it won't pinch it. And that allows it to easily fit into a connector. You don't have to manipulate after the fact to Absolutely. get it into your connection. That's handy. Um, the, the tool also has an inline forward and reverse, just like a drill or an impact driver would have. And that makes it easy to go from forward or to reverse. So if I want to call it a small, cut a small diameter cable, I don't have to cycle the cutter all the way back around. I can just reverse back, shove it back in, and cut again. So it just cuts that down a lot the speed of, time, of that. Lot of Absolutely. Time. Again, works with any 20 volt max battery pack. 
Both of these tools have what we call a Crimp Connect software. And what that is is an intelligence built into the tool that records all the work that it's done. And so what that allows you to do is plug the tool in after the fact and print out a detailed report of all of the work that this tool has done. And that's what we kind of have highlighted behind us. And what you can quickly see as I'll scroll through is the reporting software. It'll tell you the no number of cycles on a tool, the date that the tool was last calibrated. That's important because a lot of inspectors make sure that this tool was calibrated within a year of when it's being used on a job site. I can plug it right in and know the last date that it was calibrated. I know the number of uh, cycles until it needs to, or since it was last calibrated, then when it needs to be calibrated again. At the end of the job, I can print off a report of all the crimps that were done on that job, the date and time, the force it was done to, the date that the tool was calibrated, as well as any job site relevant information like the, the address of the job site, the name of the job site, and the operator of the tool. Both of these tools possess that capability. Todd Pleiser, DeWalt. We're at the DeWalt Media event. I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Attic. Thanks for watching.